Now that MG Akbar has finally resigned and the Me Too battle has just begun, this is my open letter to three senior colleagues who in varying degrees have criticized this powerful social movement. Dear Tavleen, Manjeet and Seema, like millions of other Indian women, I have watched in pain and anger and dismay as I have seen you repeatedly run down the Me Too moment. In your time, you were all game changers and rule breakers. In an age when women journalists were asked to cover only flower shows and fashion shows, you fought and you made a mark. Yet today, when other women are fighting, you mock and sneer and insult them and the Me Too movement. Dear Tavleen, Manjeet and Seema, why? Instead of making men accountable, you have put the onus on women to remain safe from predators. Isn't this bizarre? What about this language? Women threw themselves at him. Manjeet, you write about M.G. Akbar. Why did you go to Suhail's house? Tavleen, you say to a young woman who outed Suhail Seth's alleged violation. And in the Tejpal rape case, Seema, you wrote that the victim did not seem visibly agitated. This is the language of inquisition. This is the language of misogyny. Like those who talk about a woman's clothes or how late she was out or her sexual choices when it comes to rationalizing rape, murder or abuse. Dating someone, drinking with him, marrying him, working with him does not surrender our right to consent. Dear Tavleen, Manjeet and Seema, all three of you have dismissed the Me Too movement as elite. Writing in Me Too Hold Your Horses, Seema, you call it exclusive, arbitrary and subjective. And Manjeet, you go even further, sneering at courageous women who are speaking up as Me Too Walis. First, feminism is not a binary. It is not either or. Second, what is elite about the right to work? 20 million Indian women quit working between 2004 and 2012. Female labor force participation in India is down to 27%. That's just two points ahead of Pakistan. 70% Indian women, at least until now, do not report sexual harassment at work. If you're going to say to them that the workplace can be predatory, hostile, unequal, and you're just supposed to accept it, even fewer Indian women will work. Dear Tavleen, Manjeet and Seema, the Me Too movement is a movement for economic rights. Women being financially independent is at the core of feminism. How can you, of all women, call it elite? And finally, women do not care about what you call legacy. We don't care if M.G. Akbar was once a brilliant writer or Suhail Seth a brilliant brand manager or Vinod Dua a brilliant host or Chetan Bhagat a chartbuster or Jatin Das a great artist or Kiran Nagarkar a beloved author or Vikas Behel a super filmmaker or Tarun Tejpal a successful editor or AIB a super funny gig. Women do not care. Manjeet, you speak of M.G. Akbar's brilliant mind and his contribution to foreign policy. Tavleen, you call him flawed, but ask whether he should be remembered as a sexual predator or a brilliant editor. Let me try and answer that. Kevin Spacey was a great actor. Charlie Rose, a superb television host. But none of this matters once allegations of sexual misconduct surface. Flawed could be consensual affairs, but harassment, abuse, violation, assault, that is a crime. Dear Tavleen, Manjeet and Seema, maybe you had to fight much harder than millennial women and maybe that's why you're angry. But if you cannot join and support this stirring Me Too movement, at least stop making excuses for men who are facing grave allegations. Don't let women down. Dear Tavleen, Manjeet and Seema, why?